Hey, I uh, decided to go back to the trenches today. I hadn't been here in, since uh, early summer, and it's cleared out quite a bit. And this is the tree that I first started at back about 11 or 12 years ago, or actually about 1997. And uh, I found a bit in 11 bullets the first day I hunted around this tree, and since then I've been pounding the heck out of it. So uh, right over here, on my third signal, I dug a round ball, and it was only down about six or seven inches, but it was a good signal, and there's a lot of iron in this area. Also, uh, I'll show you my controls today. I've got the disc at uh, 10 today, and I've got the gain at 3. I auto... Uh, auto I de um, manual ground balanced and it's up around six on the on the ground rudely and I got the uh, threshold about six and a half and I've got the uh, this level about six or discrimination depth about six so I got this bullet at uh, full discrimination at seven inches or so so, it's pretty good. So I'm going to see what else I can find. Right here. Well, let's see what it is. Alright, it's stuck down. And it's another round ball. Now yeah, it just got a fairly loud signal and it dug down about 6 inches. And it's a fired uh, pistol bullet. See the flat bottom on it. Looks like it's got a ring around it. Alright, All right, I just dug down and got another fired uh, pistol bullet. There's all the hut sight. There's a lot of hut sights in here, but a lot of them are, uh, <clears throat> you can't see them. And there's uh, this one little, you can see like the rocks. a little mound. See all the rocks here. And there's another house hip right over here. You can kind of see indentations all over the place over here. I found a lot of bullets in this area. There's another one here. <coughs> and it looks like maybe a couple over there. You can see the trenches up ahead here. The trench right there. Let's see it going on up. There's a cut through right over here. All right, I got a really good one in the hole this time. I already see what it is. <clears throat> I guess it's about. Uh, about four and a half, five inches. Yeah. Shit. Huh, I can't find it. Oh, there it is. It's a half time. All right. This is about the third one I've gotten. Yeah, this is the third one I've gotten here.
and just didn't get it to come in quite yet. Looks like 1850 something. Now there's the uh, trenches right there. Let's see it going on up here. A lot of fallen trees and stuff back here that since I've been and there's a there's a hole. Alright. Right, right next to where I got the half time I got a signal and land on the ground was this huge rock. And listen to this. <laughs> kind of hot rock so I'm going to keep this and uh, take it home with me. So I think I'm going to head on back to the car. It's been a pretty good day so far. I'm going to show you what I found today and uh, that's all the junk I found. The first time I went to the uh, trenches I didn't really know the machine that well and I dug a heck of a lot of iron. But uh, the only iron I got today was like pieces like this that were over a foot deep and they were repeating but they really didn't sound that great but I wasn't sure this one was part of a round piece broke off it's like a little uh, wedge and this one it almost looks like it's got some kind of other metal on it but um, that one sounded good until it I uh, broke the halo and then it just it almost dropped completely out. You know, I'm digging 22 shells down four to six inches deep. And uh, I was hunting at 10 today on the discriminator. And that's what I got. I got two round balls and two fire pistol bullets. <clears throat> that one's a little bit bigger caliber. It's like a Colt or something. And the find of the day, of course, is the half time. And it's uh, 1856. That was a nice find. That's the third half dime I found out of this area. Never found any dimes or any other things like that. I found a large cent and a Virginia half penny, but it's kind of weird on coins. All right.